What is up guys, Rick Kakis here. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we are going to be talking about some brand new Destiny 2 news, courtesy of the Bungie weekly update that has just gone live contained with a bunch of official information. So let's get started. Now, we are currently in the midst of a Destiny 2 event Arc Week. However, when Arc Week launched, it, uh, let's just say it had some technical difficulties, to put it lightly. I made a joke that, due to an exploit, all of Destiny 2 had been disabled, because quite a few things had to be disabled. But, only today, Bungie introduced a hotfix to fix those things. So, here are the things it addressed. Number one, they fixed an issue where the Wave Splitter exotic trace rifle uh, was being rewarded from Xur on unintended platforms. So it's a PlayStation exclusive right now. People on the Xbox and the PC were able to get it. They say that this weapon will persist in inventory and become available to equip in September 2019. So of course, I'm not really in favor of exclusives, but at least if you did get it, if you're lucky enough to get it, then you'll be able to use it right away when that uh, embargo kind of lifts. In addition to that, another thing is that they fixed an issue where players could reacquire pinnacle weapons from vendors at no cost, giving you infinite uh, masterwork cores, and now pinnacle weapons may once again be acquired from vendors after their respective quests are completed. So if you are close to your 21% delirium, you couldn't get it. As soon as you're hearing these words, you can now reacquire it. Moving on from there, they fix an issue where players could have the sentry perk Umble Strike even when not having the proper amount of sentry armor equipped. So they disabled Gambit Prime armor like across the board, but now sentry armor will grant the appropriate perks in Gambit Prime, so that has been re-enabled. Now one more thing they're looking into is that Bungie says, additionally, we are looking into Arc Strider Supers and their ability to achieve higher than intended damage against bosses when mixing certain perks. Until fixed, you may notice in Gambit and other activities that bosses are being pummeled into the ground by hunters and their arc staffs. We'll keep you updated on the status of our investigation. So, if you need to farm some stuff, especially in PvE, maybe Arc Strider is the class to use. Moving on from there, the other very exciting news that happened yesterday was, again, even though we're in an event right now, next week on April 16th, a brand new Destiny 2 event, The Revelry, is going to launch. And Bungie unveiled all of the information about it yesterday. I've done a video fully covering that. If you're interested in knowing more about it, definitely check it out. It's linked up above. But some highlights from that event, number one, the new exotic linear fusion rifle, the Arbalist, is going to have an exotic quest that's going to start with this new event. Despite what the thumbnails in my recommended feed seem to indicate, no, you can't get this weapon right now. It comes out with the revelry. In addition to that, really interestingly, I think a feature that a lot of people are really ignoring and not really, I think, realizing the full impact of is that the revelry has a new thing called the tonic. And this tonic will be powered up by killing different bosses. And then you can get different benefits from that, like more grenade, melee, or class ability recharge rate. And this affects every facet of the game. So, if you haven't done a raid, if you are still struggling with Tier 3 of Reckoning, those things are going to become substantially easier. Because not only are you going to get whatever one of those abilities you select faster, and, you know, something like getting a melting point for a Titan way more often is very, very useful, even in the raid. During the revelry, enemies are going to produce orbs of light, which is going to give you more supers more often for just getting precision kills. So, more super regen and more ability regen across the board. Seriously, the revelry may be your best time ever to complete that raid or that hard activity that you weren't able to complete before. Now, moving on from there, something else very exciting is that Bungie announced their official involvement with GuardianCon. GuardianCon is a community-organized event that takes place this year on July 5th and 6th in Orlando, Florida, and it's a massive charity event to raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I went last year, and it was an absolute blast. It was so nice meeting a lot of you guys. I'm sure some of you watching, you know, met me there, and uh, it's so much fun, and the after-hour party 
parties are wild. Anyways, I'm going to be going again this year. So if you were thinking about attending, I would recommend it. It was, again, a ton of fun. You're going to meet a ton of amazing content creators, and I will definitely be there. If any of you is wearing that Cactus merch, I'll, I'll find you. I'll track you down and give you a big bear hug. Now, the interesting part for the rest of you is that Bungie says that they are bringing something to this event to spice things up. So they say, quote, Bungie developers will be on site to shake your hand and thank you for being a guardian. Destiny will be playable. There will be loot. We're working on some other fun surprises for the show and we'll tell you more about those soon. Now that's interesting because last year Bungie showed up with Gambit with a brand new game mode for their future DLC. Will this happen again? Is Bungie going to release a fall DLC and will one of the new aspects of that fall DLC be playable at Guardian Con? The timeline works out such that E3 happens where we would likely get any announcements on future Destiny DLC and then Guardian Con happens. So E3 things will be unveiled. Hey, we have a brand new game mode for our brand new DLC and it's playable at Guardian Con. That's exactly the timeline that happened last year. And that's actually very exciting. In fact, the fact that they're so cryptic is exciting and they don't really have to be. They could just be saying, hey, we're gonna be there. We're gonna set up stations. You can play Destiny 2. Everyone would be thrilled. What else are they bringing to the table? Moving on from there, for you emblem aficionados, there's some more extremely rare ones to collect. So Bungie is doing their sixth anniversary of the Gauntlet Tabletop Fundraiser. And I will link this down below if you want to participate. Basically, you donate different amounts uh, towards a charity. And for $50, you do get this very exclusive emblem. Then, moving on from there, another emblem thing. Uh, the Destiny comic collection is available to pre-order, as you can see. And if you do pre-order, you get another very exclusive emblem. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help the video out by liking and especially sharing it. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, absolutely hit that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me, best way, check me out on Twitter at Rickakis. I hope you guys enjoyed the video again, and as always, have a good day.